Hello, this is William from Visual Components. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a reference node property using Python API. To get started, I'll go to the Modeling tab. If you do not have access to Modeling tab, you can create an add-on to complete this tutorial. I'll now create a new component, add a box or block feature. I'll now click the Behaviors drop-down menu here and then click Python script to add that behavior and open its editor. We're going to create the property in the component of our script, so I don't need these lines of code here. I will delete them. Let's now get the component object of our script. Let me change my keyboard setup real quick. So comp equals get component. And now before we create the property, let's see if it already exists in the component. All right, prop equals comp dot get property. This allows you to search for a property by name. Let's look for a property called test ref node. If the property does not exist, we have to create it. I'll write if not prop. Prop equals comp dot create property. This method allows you to create a property of a given type and name. When you want to create a reference type property, you have to pass its type as a string. Use the ref keyword and inside the tags here, you give the type uh, you want. So we want a reference node type property. Let's now name the property we're creating test ref node. And we will use the default constraints so we can assign a node to this property's value. Let's compile our code. I'll now go to the component graph panel and select the properties checkbox here. Underneath the root node, expand properties. And there's our property, but it has a null value. So to test this, let's minimize our script and add a robot to the 3D world. I'll go to the Home tab, and in my eCatalog panel, I'll expand models by type, scroll down, expand robots, scroll down, click Visual Components, and then add a generic articulated robot to the 3D world. Let's move the robot out of the way. There we go. I'll select my test component here. And if we go to the component properties panel, there's our reference node property. And if we click the drop down menu here, we have a list of all available nodes in the 3D world. So you can see the component, the test components root node, and all the nodes in the robot. You can also select a node using this pick command here. So if I click it, this allows me to select a node in the 3D world. Let me click it again. There we go. You can see I get a red bounding box indicating the node I can select. So I can select this node, this node, or this node. I'll select this node here. And if I go back to the Komodo Properties panel, we can see I selected Access to Node in the generic robot. You can also create a list of node values using this property type. Let's go back to our script. And instead of creating a reference node property, we can create a list reference node property. And I'll show you how to do that now. So let's say we're looking for a property called test list ref node. So I'll write prop list equals comp dot get property. Let's look for a property called test list ref node. If it does not exist, we have to create it. So I'll write if not prop list, prop list equals comp dot create property. And its type, we'll have to pass it as a string. We will use the list keyword here, create tags, and inside the tag we'll pass our reference node. So ref, create the tags, and node. So this property type of reference node, it allows you to create it in a list. So we're creating a list of nodes here. Let's name our property, test list ref node. We'll use the default constraint. We we'll make the text editor bigger, or the script editor, sorry. And the constraint for our property here is a list of nodes. So let's now create those nodes or get some nodes that are already in the 3D world and assign them to our property. So let's say that we should probably get the application object. So I'll write app equals get application. And let's assign some nodes in the robot to our property list. So I'll say robot equals app dot find component. The name of the robot is generic robot. 
and let's create a node list and create those brackets and we'll use the robot component to find nodes in the robot. So robot.find node. If to find the node by name, we know that axis2 is the name of a node in the robot. And let's add another value, robot.find node, and find a node called axis4. So we created a list of two nodes. Let's now assign them to our property list here. So I'll say prop list dot value because the value here is a list of nodes and we'll just pass in that variable. If we compile our code, go to the component properties panel, we can see, yes, there's our list type property that contains reference nodes and it contains access two and access four in the robot. All right, this completes the video. If you have any more questions, please feel free to visit our forum at forum.visualcomponents.com and I hope you have a wonderful day.